Hello and welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn about study of compounds. This chapter is under ICIC standard 10 syllabus. So let us start our chapter with HCl. And when I am saying that hydrogen chloride, then it means it is a gas. When I am saying hydrochloric acid, that means it is a liquid and it is an acid. Both the things are different. Hydrogen chloride is a gas whereas hydrochloric acid is acid. So let us first see hydrogen chloride gas. So this gas we are preparing by two different reactions. The first reaction is the hydrogen gas along with chlorine gas. When it is exposed to sunlight or diffuse sunlight we are going to get hydrogen chloride gas and in this situation the atmospheric moisture will act as a moisture. If there will be moisture there in the atmosphere then it will speed up the reaction process. In second we can take any metallic chloride. Here we have taken NaCl that is a salt. Sodium chloride at place of sodium you can take any other matter. So this is a metallic chloride when it is reacting with H2SO4 it is sulfuric acid and we have written here conch. The meaning of conch is concentrated. The concentration of sulfuric acid should be very very high. So it is concentrated and the temperature we are performing is less than 200 degrees centigrade. It should not go above 200 degree centigrade. So we have to maintain a below 200 degree centigrade temperature throughout the reaction process. Then we are going to get sodium bisulfate or whatever metal you have taken. That metallic bisulfate you will get here. If you have taken here potassium then you will get potassium bisulfate. And plus HCl gas this is our main product or desired product. This is our byproduct, and this is hydrogen chloride gas. So hydrogen chloride gas we are preparing through two different process. One from hydrogen gas, chlorine gas. Another is from metallic chloride and sulfuric acid which is concentrated. Let us see laboratory method for hydrogen chloride gas. This topic is under ICSC standard 10 syllabus from the chapter study of compound. So in laboratory method we are following the metallic chloride equation. In metallic chloride we have taken sodium chloride. It is reacting with concentrated sulfuric acid and we have to maintain temperature below 200 degree centigrade. Then we are getting sodium bisulfate and hydrogen chloride gas. But this a second equation in which we are maintaining the temperature more than 200 degree centigrade. Then with the same reactant we are getting sodium sulfate and two molecules of hydrogen chloride gas. Our main product will be same but our byproduct will change. So this reason we are going to see at later stage that why we are maintaining a less than 200 degree centigrade temperature. So in laboratory method we are following this equation and we are maintaining temperature less than 200 degree centigrade and it should not be more than 200 degree centigrade. This we will see in reason section of this chapter. So let us first understand the laboratory method. In this we have taken one round bottom flask. We have taken a liquid of sodium chloride. So sodium chloride solution we have taken here and we have arranged a one thesal funnel. This, so what is a thesal funnel? Thesal funnel we are using to add any liquid in a drop wise manner to our reaction. So in this we are adding concentrated sulfuric acid. It is concentrated and it is very important to mention that. So from this sulfuric acid will be adding here in a drop wise manner to sodium chloride solution. 
Now when this two will mix with each other, the hydrogen chloride gas will be generated. And that from the another gas pipe, it will go to a bottle which is filled with again concentrated sulfuric acid. So in this bottle, this is a concentrated sulfuric acid. Why we are doing so? Because whatever hydrogen chloride gas will generate from this reaction will have some moisture and we don't want that moisture in our gas. So that's why the hydrogen, so that's why this sulfuric acid will act as a dehydrating agent. So concentrated sulfuric acid will act as a dehydrating agent. So when this gas will come to the sulfuric acid and you can see that we have dipped this pipe inside. So what all gas will come will pass through this concentrated sulfuric acid and come up from the liquid. So when this will come up from the concentrated sulfuric acid it will lose all the moisture. And dry hydrogen chloride gas we will get from this pipe and that we are collecting in this gas jar. So there is a three step procedure and at the third step we are getting our hydrogen chloride gas and that too a dry gas. Let us see it again. So in this NaCl solution is there, sodium chloride and we are dropwise adding sulfuric acid from the T-cell funnel. So it will be adding dropwise into NaCl solution. It will generate HCl gas and it will go to a bottle which is containing concentrated sulfuric acid because what all moisture will be containing in the gas will be collected by H2SO4 that is our sulfuric acid because sulfuric acid is also acting as a dehydrating agent. From this it should be digged inside so the gas should pass through H2SO4 and then it comes up and goes to this pipe and that we are collecting into the gas jar. So this is our process in which we are using metallic chloride, NaCl, concentrated H2SO4. We are maintaining temperature less than 200 degrees centigrade and we will get sodium bisulfate and our product hydrogen chloride gas.